Looking outside from the Mission Ridge camera as we check the forecast and traffic moving smoothly looks a lot better today than it did yesterday. Let's get to meteorologist Clay Smith as we are drying out today and also cooling off a little bit as well, Clay. Yeah, Latrice, it's been a rainy couple of days, but cooler weather, lower humidity and dry conditions are on the way for the Tennessee Valley. But here's a look at your August summary officially from the Chattanooga Airport. Our average high for the month, 80 to 9 degrees, which is almost what we would expect. The average low 71, but look at the total rainfall, 11.48 inches. Now that bumps August as the second wettest August in record dating back to 1879. So a lot of rain fell across the Tennessee Valley, especially at the Chattanooga Airport for the month of August. And our hottest day was back on August 25th of 97 degrees. In fact, that was the hottest day of summer. It doesn't like we're going to have any 90 degree days in our near future. And as for the radar, it is quiet as can be. Only a couple of showers into the Smokies and back into the Carolinas. But here across the Tennessee Valley, we're drying out. Just a couple of clouds left behind. And the remnants of Ida now pushing along the I-95 corridor into the mid-Atlantic and portions of the northeast. Just some really heavy rain pushing across these areas. But again, Ida is done here in the Tennessee Valley and temperatures are much cooler as we're starting to see that northwest influence from the winds bringing in that cooler and drier air. 79 currently in Chattanooga, very comfortable. 77 in Dayton, 72 in Murphy and 77 in Athens. And again, as the day progresses, we'll gla gradually lose some of that cloud cover and tracking out the rest of your Wednesday. Broken clouds through three o'clock. Temperatures generally going to top out in the low to mid 80s and then going into your evening. We're going to drop pretty quickly into the 70s with skies clearing after midnight especially and taking a look at your future cast again as that cold front continues to kind of bump off to our south and east that northwesterly wind going to start to bring in that drier air skies begin to clear and no rain coming into your Thursday. It is going to be a really nice and dry almost fall like Thursday and Friday for us here across the Tennessee Valley. So if you didn't like all the rain we were dealing with and the storm alert weather day. Well, good news for you. It is going to be quite nice over the next couple of days and the muggy meter going to the comfortable level for the first time in a while Thursday into Friday before bumping back up to the humid category going into your weekend. But again, the fall equinox now only 22 days away, so it is almost time for some cooler weather. Labor Day also six days away. We're going to have a longer weekend coming up, which is always nice. Now, a quick look at the tropics again. Ida just a remnant low now. We do have Tropical Storm Larry now expected to become a major hurricane. Likely just going to stay out into the open Atlantic. We also have Tropical Depression. Kate going to fizzle out heading into the weekend. So no major impacts coming to the U.S. over the next couple of days, which is definitely good news. Now for tonight, very comfortable, pleasant temperatures generally going to be in the mid 60s. Sunset at 807, mostly clear skies. And as for your next seven days, again, you could not ask for better weather for the next three days. Then we start to see humidity returning into your weekend and a front going to bring more scattered showers and storms heading into your Sunday.